All right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as a strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better. And recently, he has been back on the upswing in his career. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Overeem is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 47 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair the Reed And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so, all right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by his toe. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully. Really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fighter. 
They continue to exchange. Oh, nice straight left. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball from Westland. Now he gets back to range. Caught the kick. Nice body kick. Looking for that left hand, just missed. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Nice punch lands over the top. So just over 20 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Over. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. all about that left kick to the body. Overeem gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Ooh, what a punch. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. And he landed the right hand there. Hip into that leg kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Let's go. Right on it. Push, push, push. Big kick lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. that body kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, huge block! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Overeem's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Goes back to that left kick once again. Sneaky head kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Over and over. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice head kick. Top, top, top. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. But listen, that was a tough round. I think you lost that one. I need you to go out there and All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Uh, round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We have two very talented players. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And they set. Nice punch, man. Started 
gonna do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice leg kick land. Straight right is there. Whoa! Massive kick to the head. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Time this shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice strike. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Nice right hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, he hurt badly, Jack. Left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Wolverine's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Whiffs on that offering. He loaded up on that right hand, too. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Overeem's kick attempt. That one was blocked. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a toughness to even be on his feet right now. Overeem gets touched by that kick to the body. How about that shin? Take him. Big kick lands. He blocks the punch. Punch over the top. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Real nice body kick land. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Well, he misses with the left punch there. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Green gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you gotta think at some point the doctor's gonna get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is gonna be stopped.
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Connects with a right. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice. Trying to establish that jab once again. Huge block there. Oh, nice. Nice. Gets hit with a kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh! Oh, big left hook there! Oh! Big punch lands through the middle. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Overeem. Yes. Just misses with a left hook there. The Reem gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, a nice hook there by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Right up to the elbow, Vashti playing. Nice suit and punch. Check these low leg kicks. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on the catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. And they separate. with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, if you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. Beautiful land there by Alistair Overeem. Continues to cross train at different places. Finished up this training camp at Team Elevation there under Elliott Marshall in Colorado. And there comes the separation now. Blocks the shot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Just out of range with the big right hand. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Overeem gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. He's throwing every part of himself 
into these big leg kicks. Ten seconds to go in the round. You gotta whip this hip into that kick. Oh, he somehow got oh, that overhand. Wow. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, oh. If you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Nice head kick. And they separate. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Punch coming. It's blocked. And now he's got that tight clinch. Good exchange there inside. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily right. That's a big strike right there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just missing on the uppercut there. Head kick lands. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Punch is blocked. Big kick lands. Plus right hand is two. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to get too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Look at the turtles in that kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, and tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh, nice block there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the The ring gets hit with a kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Under one minute remains in round four. 
Counter kick to the body there by the ring. seconds now to go on the round. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Great punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Single collar tie now. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Nice straight punch. Big power shot there. Wolverine gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Great posture control by his opponent. Overeem's got the tie clinch now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big body kick land. Nice leg kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Ooh, what a punch. Overeem gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Beautiful head kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Good right here. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Nice kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Battling for hooks. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. He's so committed to body punches. 90 seconds to go in the fight. 
Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Big kick. Just missed with the left there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Right hand upstairs. Well, safe to say he's not going to be going back to the hotel room to watch this one. He is completely out of gas now. I mean, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. It looks like a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, nice strike landed there by the ream. Beautiful body landed right under the elbow. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Effective jab there by Lee. Final 10 seconds of the fight. And he lands the knee to the body now. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly...